thank you for the chance to speak this evening. My name is Anna Polk. I have two graduates from RPS, and a son who is currently a first year at Mayo High School. I also worked as a kinder parent at Riverside, and I served as a parent PTSA and volunteer role as my kids in elementary school. I wanted to take a moment to observe Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day today. I was thinking of family members who served, and 80 years ago, the Americans were united against a common enemy, Nazism, fascism, and this made our mission clearer, but no less difficult, and not without a significant amount of help told, which to this day goes on to knowledge, I think. Yet everyone pitched in and did what they had to do. Fast forward to today, when we finally have begun to be able to articulate some of the treat mental illness. The anxiety and stress caused by the past 18 months have driven us a ways, yet we seem to be divided instead of united against our common enemy, the virus. Divided by disinformation, ideology, and the return to the ideal that we and the return to the ideal that we fought for 18 years ago for freedom, democracy, and true populism versus fascism and post populism. Against this sort of low level anxiety, we return to in person schooling, and I think it's a courageous act at so many levels. And then there were, was yet another school shooting last week. Actually, according to Edwin, here are the recent numbers. There have been 30 school shootings in a year. This year, 22 is August 1st. The school bus shooting on November 30th, which a student killed four people and injured seven in Oxford, Michigan. It was the deadliest shooting since May 2018. There have been 88 school shootings since 2018. The COVID-19 pandemic appears to have interrupted the trend line. The 2020 figure was 10 shootings, so significantly lower than 2019 and 2018, which each had 24. So on this year alone, there are about two to three school shootings per week, which you don't always hear about whether in buildings or on school properties. Um, more numbers do not, don't include the entire communities that are traumatized by this. Um, I don't want to wade into the gun safety debate tonight. That would take longer than three minutes. I'm sure I have 47 seconds. But I just want to say, um, I hope we're doing all we can do to identify students in families in crisis and staff and to offer the best help available given the constraints we have today with intervention and confidentiality. As a parent of teens and young adults, I get it. Um, the time period from age 11 to young adulthood is so fraught, particularly with the internet and social media added to the mix. I also want to thank you for putting staff on the path to mental health with Mental Health Day tomorrow. And I think that that's um, the beginning of the solution to some of the mental illness issues that we are facing as a society and as a school district. I have more to say, of course, but I'll end there.